So last week, I tweeted about a, an approval flow that I built for a list item where, or you know, you could use it for documents as well, where it actually helps users to run an approval flow on a selected item and then has some really cool, interesting options, not just sending, you know, what is this approval about and, and who are the approvers, but also bring in approval reminders, right? So if you have someone uh, a task that is assigned to them, uh, you probably want to remind them, um, you know, the, the frequency that you want to remind them and send them that, hey, you haven't approved this item, do you want to approve like right now, right? So um, it was a little bit journey to, to build this, but um, it was really cool to see this working. And um, let's jump right into the demo and then let's go through and see how I built this flow. So here's my simple list. You know, it's cities, new cities come and go, but let's pretend that we're going to be approving uh, cities here. Um, so I'm going to select um, Auckland, and then if you see here, I get my custom flow that I have built for this list. So I'm going to do request approval with options. And then um, it's going to open up the flow, uh, run flow panel in SharePoint, so you don't have to go to flow, which is a really cool thing. And let's say a new city in the horizon, we approve. And I'm going to put myself as the approver, and let's spam this up. Why not? And I'm going to turn on approval reminders because without this, you know, an approval is going to be sent, and you know, Vesa being Vesa is going to ignore this approval for sure, right, Vesa? So I'm going to turn on approval reminders, and I'm going to make it send a reminder every minute so that we get an email reminder about this approval not being complete. So I'm going to run the flow. And Vesa, don't approve yet. Um, let's, let's go through and get the spam to show this demo works. So I have my email. Um, I'm, going to sh I'm not going to open my email. There's a lot of stuff going on in my email. But I will bring in the just the email when I get um, the approval and, and things like that. But but here is the flow. Um, let's see what it's doing because it should have running. There you go, it's running. And we should get an email pretty soon to approve. Let's see where the state is. So if you click the run flow, um, you will see that where this is currently in. There you go. I got um, the approval email. Vesa, did you get the approval email as well? Yep, I got the email. Yep. Yeah. So here's the approval email. Uh, it's no different to the current approvals that you go and use the action. It will send you uh, the, the details of the approval. I've customized to say that a new item, you know, offline was created. Uh, of course, there are some uh, bugs here, but, you know, you can customize the message that you want. I also see the message I sent with the request, right? So which is a new city in the horizon, please approve. Um, I could approve here, but let's not do that because we should be getting reminders uh, very soon. I think, Vesa, did you got the? Did you get the reminder? Yep, it just arrived when we were there. You go. It, so. so here's the reminder, right? So an approval assigned to you for Auckland is still pending. Please review the approval. And if I click this, it's going to take me to the flow portal um, to to approve this request. Now, just for the fun, let's let's wait another minute to see if we get another reminder um, to to see if we actually like the flow works. So that's, that's a really cool way to keep people informed. Uh, and I do have the option in the flow to say it every minute or every day or every week uh, to, to kind of set the reminder. Uh, but one thing to really understand here, there's a limitation to how many uh, days you can actually do this. So the longest running uh, time for flow that can run is 30 days, uh, 29 days. Uh, there are ways to prevent those things, but right now if you use an office license, you will get for 29 days the flow can run. So I just got the next reminder. Lesa, did you get the next reminder? Yep, I got it. So you're spamming my inbox now. This is getting annoying. Exactly. Yep, I mean, I'm, spamming my, I'm spamming Lesa's inbox. Um, so now I can go and uh, you know respond to this request. Uh, Lesa, please go ahead and respond and, and leave something in the comments um, so that uh, when you approve. I'll do that. Yeah. I'm opening, opening up. 
well, I'm not opening it up. The list is opening it up in my browser, just to be precise. Um, and yeah. that was a bad joke. Um, adding a comment, and I will approve. Okay, I will approve. And write a comment and confirm. There we go. And response successfully recorded. Okay, so now what is going to happen is it's going to take all the responses, you know, build it into a really nice looking table, and then send the requester an email. Um, so I'm going to be waiting for the email to come through. Um, there you go. I actually got um, because oh, there's a bug. Um, there's a bug in my flow, but you can see um, this shouldn't be rejected. This should be approved, obviously. Uh, but you can see the the table here that it builds. Um, so it, it it is showing me who the approver is, um, what are the comments, uh, thanks, Vesa, um, and then response is approved. So this is just a flow bug that we can go fix um, when we edit the flow. But this is a this is the flow overall, right? So you you go and you have a flow deployed for your list. You can now click that flow, have the options in the flow itself on what reminders and you know you want and the frequency of the reminders you want. Uh, so that it's, it's really driving that, that business logic uh, here. Um, so really cool way to do this. So let's go and see what this flow looks like. So this flow isn't straightforward. Um, there are a lot of capabilities here that you know you would expect to be part of the approval uh, action in Power Automate. True, um, I do. Uh, uh, you know, I'm working with the Power Automate approval team that they are looking to bring these features as part of the action, um, but right now we don't have it. So we got to build something to support these uh, scenarios for customers. So what I've done is, you know, for a selected item, one of the things you can do is add uh, inputs. And these inputs are, uh, today you have uh, around seven types. And so you have text, yes or no, file, email, number, and date. The email is the one that will actually let you pick people uh, and, and select emails. Uh, many customers have not recognized this as people picker because the name doesn't say people picker. Um, I, I totally uh, agree uh, on that. So it's very confusing, but if you select email, you can then have a people picker that uh, enumerates people from your gal. Um, so that's what I've done here. Uh, you know, put a uh, text message uh, and then uh, email and then uh, SR no uh, to turn on approval reminders the reminder duration, and then I have uh, the combo box, uh, sorry, the drop-down list of options for approval reminder duration. And really, the way you bring drop-down is if you click text and then you click this dot, 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 you can add multi-select list of options and also a drop-down list of options. So you can convert this text box into drop-down and multi-select list, which is very cool. You can also make this field optional, so you don't have to, like, really... Uh, let the user enter, you might have some defaults set up in your flow as well. Um, so that's the way you can use inputs, which I've used uh, in my flow in the uh, for selected items. And then I get the item. Now, uh, let's come to these variables uh, later. But once I get the item, I have the details for the item that the user selected. And now I can create an approval, right? So now I'm going to branch into two uh, parallel branches here to create an approval and send an approval. And the other one is to really see, uh, do I need to send a reminder uh, for this approval? Uh, because one is going to initiate the approval and start the approval, and one of the branches, uh, which is here, is going to check if the approval is complete or not. Um, so what I'm doing here is basically, uh, I'm checking um, if approval is, uh, reminder is, is required, right? So one of the input I got was whether I need approval reminders for this flow. So that gives me a good hint to understand whether I do need to go into this logic or not. Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, you don't have to send reminders. You don't have to go into this logic. And then immediately what I'm doing is I'm setting up a delay, uh, and the count is the duration, right, whether it's uh, month, week, day, um, or uh, minute. And the values are exactly the same as how you get in the count dropdown. So I've, I've just mimicked that. 
and the unit is basically whether it's one day or you know two days or one minute or three minutes depending on that and once i get that the flow is going to stop for whatever set period of time and once it comes back it's going to check if approval is uh, done right so to do that i have a variable called approval um uh, approval done which initially is set up to false right because the way that you would do is when approval is complete you would set that to true uh, if it's not it's equal to false so the first time when it wants it's going to be false um and it's going to go ahead and say well i'm going to do this until the approval done is true so now you go into a loop and it basically uh, goes up and waits until uh that delay uh basically this is uh, remake so you can say uh wait before sending email right because it's basically going to wait until uh that uh, minute here which i have defaulted to uh now you can even change this so uh to basically say i don't want minute i can enter custom value and then you can pick the reminder duration um and and that would basically tell you whether this is for minute or day or count right um and this is how this is how you can basically customize this to to your uh various options you have in your business logic so that's the um way how you would check for reminders and then send the reminder if the approval is not done this is a lot to consume um don't worry about it we are prepping a template uh for this to be available in power automate website so that you can actually uh get this uh by clicking uh just the template rather than rebuilding this um i have a a link as well that i will share in the chat to download so that's that's the logic for sending the reminders but but hold on what happens when an approval is sent and how does this get processed right so i'm using the create an approval action which basically allows you to create an approval but don't send it right it waits for you to send the approval um before initiating the approval process it allows you to do something between that time period so i create an approval uh which is no different to how you have today and then i am setting the approval uh link that i get uh in the in the reminder email that you that you saw that opened up the approval portal to approve or reject the the the, the, the approval request so i'm capturing that so that i can use later uh in my email and then i am initiating the approval process so now i am initiating the approval process in the sense that the approval will be sent to the users the approvers and we will have to wait and at this point in time i'm going to say approval done uh, is true because once it comes out of the wait stage and then comes to this stage the approval is done so now we can set the approval done variable to true uh, which then when this parallel branch you know goes through its cycle where it's uh, delayed for a minute and then gets back uh you know after sleep after the delay it would check for the variable and it would be true and it will stop the uh, approval process approval reminders that it sends to the approvers so once i have done the approval here now i have all the information i have the uh, data that who the approvers are and i also have the data around what comments they left right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to enumerate those and build uh, a table so basically i use the select option that lets me select a particular values from an array so all of the approval system is an array the responses because i have you know more than one approval i have more than one response and there's like everything that happens between that so what i'm doing is i'm selecting the responses collection from the approval and then i'm getting out the approver the comments and the response right so that's how i'm building uh these uh particular things now you can see here um, i actually don't need this i have the expression uh that basically says if there are no comments type in no comments right if you have if comments are not empty then take the item uh comments property and then uh, show it up there so if you have just someone you know don't submit any comments this would say no comments really putting the business logic there to make this really pretty right and just the stuff is i just get it from um the responses collection where i can get who the approver is and what their uh, response is whether it's approved 
or reject. Once I have that, I can create an HTML table uh, that that basically takes the output of the select, which is a you know a, a, a JSON uh, array again, and then converts into an HTML table. But this HTML table is not really pretty. Uh, it's really uh, you know it doesn't have any borders or tables and things like that. But you can just go to any site that allows you to build HTML tables and then put that style here and uh, you know the, the CSS styling and and then you put the output of the HTML table that you are using uh, here in the uh, in this action. So that's how um, you can you can basically like style the HTML table you get uh, into the whatever border and colors and things like that that you want. And and this basically uh, looked like this, right? So it basically builds me this table with these blue borders uh, around and a header with a gray uh, background that helped me to easily build this table. And finally, what I'm going to do is check if my outcome is approve or reject. And based on that, I basically uh, send the email uh, back to uh, the approvers um, or the requester uh, that, hey, your request was approved, your request was rejected, right? So that's the uh, flow uh, that I built that allows you to uh, create an approval, send the approval, but also have a branch that can check whether if the approval was done and then send reminders. Now, obviously here, uh, I can't really uh, understand whether um, VESA has done and just send a reply, send just a reminder to VESA, right? Because today I can only say whether an approval is done or not. I can't say if Charts has responded to the approval or if VESA has responded to the approval. Uh, for that, you would have to use the workaround, which is create two approval branches, you know, or n number of approval branches depending on um, the number of approvals you have, which is very complicated. But uh, this is, again, one of the capabilities that we want to build in the Power Automate connector to really give the, uh, you know, understanding of, um, you know, who have completed the approval and who haven't responded to the approval. Uh, so that gives really even more logic here in the reminder approval so you don't spam every approver, even though they have responded but just only concentrate and focus on the folks that haven't responded. Uh, so those are all the improvements that we know we have to do. But um, this is, you know, a, a year ago or six months ago, this was like really hard. Like we only had start and wait approval and setting these variables and doing all this was like even building a HTML table was really like cumbersome. Uh, but we have come a long way to make these things simpler and, and approachable for users, uh, especially power users, to go build these uh, flows in Power Automate. Um, so that's my demo. I hope this is useful. Um, there are some bugs, but if folks want to uh, get their hands on on these uh, on this flow and and use it and customize it for your business logic, I will share the link so that uh, you can download and import it in your uh, Power Automate tenant and and try to customize it for your needs. And that's about Excellent. It. Excellent. Thank you, Jacques. Uh, good way of engaging also, at least with, a, with the, uh, <laughs> the host of the call. So, <laughs> uh, but really cool stuff. Mm -hmm.